Several studies suggest that natural immunity, the antibodies your body produces when you recover from COVID, offer stronger protection than any of the corona vaccines. So why force vaccines on people who've recovered from COVID and have those antibodies? Jeffrey Jerry is the Senior Vice President of Medical and Academic Affairs at St. Luke's University Hospital, which is allowing employees with natural impunity to defer taking the COVID shot for a year. He joins us to explain. Uh, Mr. Jerry, thanks. I appreciate your coming on, doctor. Th this seems like a sensible science-based solution. Why isn't everyone doing it? But tell us, why are you doing this? We're doing it because we're following the science. It's important for us to state that we're absolutely committed to vaccination, and we're also absolutely committed to actually mandating it in healthcare. It's very different in healthcare than other businesses. But with that in mind, those of us who make this decision not only took into account what was going on nationally and internationally, like the Israeli study, but more to the point, those of us who make that decision, we're not doing this behind a desk or behind a computer. We're actually seeing patients. And we knew that even once the Delta variant had hit, that it was very apparent to us that those individuals who had a verified natural infection were at least as protected, if not better protected, than those who had gotten two shots of an mRNA vaccine or a single shot of the J&J &J vaccine. So we offered this deferment. And it is a deferment. We don't know how long it's going to last, but as the data actually accumulates, we'll change our policy in accordance with the science. So you're, you, you're using number science that's available to the CDC as well. So why aren't they recommending the same? Well, I can't speak for the CDC. And in fact, uh, we do support giving a single dose of an mRNA vaccine after getting natural immunity because we know that it increases your protection by tenfold. The CDC, unfortunately, is still insisting on two doses of an mRNA vaccine, and we don't think that that actually is supported by the, the science that we look at. And again, we're practicing doctors, and we're able to interpret it that way. Do you think that they have are they looking at different, just for non, the non-scientists watching, including me, do you think they have different data sets they're looking at, or are you looking at the same numbers? I think that we're all looking at different data sets. Uh, there is, we do not adhere to a bureaucracy. We've always been very adherent to collaboration and communication and making decisions very quickly based on what is proper for our patient population and for our staff and their families, and that's what we've done so. I think when you have government agencies, it tends to work in a slower fashion. Yeah, apparently. Dr. Jerry, thanks so much for coming on. I appreciate it. St. Luke's Hospital in My Pennsylvania. Pleasure. Appreciate it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.